Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in today's Max for Beginners. I am architect Sonu Rai from Gladi Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you about sweep modifier in today's Max. So sweep modifier is almost similar like in Revit architecture. If you are using a Revit architecture, you will be familiar with this sweep modifier. So if you don't know, I will explain in today's Max here. So now I am going to use sweep modifier and before this we are required to draw any line here so suppose i am going to use a rectangle simple rectangle come on here and i am going to draw a rectangle 2d line here and now i am going to my perspective mode here so this is our 2d shape which is rectangle and now i am going to modify list and i am going to my list and i will type s and you can search for sweep modifier. So we can see this option here. Sweep modifier here. I'm going to select this. And now you can see this is the shape which is by default. And this is in angle shape. So if you are using steel angle, you can draw this kind of shapes. And this is section type here. And you can see this is use built-in section. So by default, 3ds Max having some shapes and it is called use built-in section. So the first shape is angle. So there are some more shapes here and I'm going to select this downward arrow and you can see there is a bar, channel, cylinder, half round, pipe. So I'm going to select bar. So it will be in a bar shape. And there is a channel here. This is in channel, so this is very handy. There is a cylinder, you can draw cylindrical shape here, hollow pipes like things. And half round, this is half round. And there is a pipe here, this is pipe. Quarter round, this is quarter round. And you can draw T shapes also. So this is in a T shape, you can see this. So we can use this inbuilt section, tubular pipe also you can draw this and you can use white flange here. So if you are making any shapes related to this, you can use inbuilt in section, you can draw elliptical shapes here. So I am going to select angle and if we come down here, you can see there are use custom section. So I will explain later. And I'm going to parameters here. So this parameters is according to this section here. So you can increase length here. You can increase width and you can also give some thickness here to this angle. So likewise, you can also play with this corner radius. You can see this radius is changing. You can also radius 2 so this is according to your section so edge radius also you can adjust so now i am going to show you another example with i am going to select bar here and if you select bar the settings will change here and it will be uh, according to this uh, shape here this parameter is length width and corner radius so we can increase this length and this width and corner radius can increase or decrease and this is the sweep parameter so if I am going to select this angle again here and now I am going to sweep parameter so this is mirror on XJ plane so if I am going to select mirror on XJ plane so it will be on XJ plane if you want on XY plane, you can select this on XY plane. So likewise, you can use this mirror and you can also use this X offset. This is Y offset and this is the angle. So how much angle if you want? So I'm going to put zero here and you can select a smooth section. If you deselect it, it will be less smoother. This is align pivot here. So suppose if you drawing any uh, customized shape here, you can use this pivot alignment. I will explain what is this. 
so now i will tell you how we can draw custom shapes so i am going to this top here and you can see this is use built-in section so these all shapes are by default so now there is another option use custom section so i am going to use this and i will select this you can see this is going to default shape here so now you are required to draw any shape here so suppose if you are making cornice you can draw this shape so i am going to draw any shape here and i will use 2d shapes so i am going to draw any shapes suppose if you are making any cornice you can use this or any other shapes So close this plane. Yes. So this is our shape. And now I am going to my perspective here. And this is not visible. This shape here. And I will select this. Move here. And I will move to this. And can bring this shape here so this is our shape so this is bigger in size so we'll reduce the scale here I am going to use the scale command and I will reduce this you can see this is our shape so now I am going to select this select and move and I am going to modify it and now I am going to pick the shape here and I have selected use custom section instead of this use built in section. So I am going to select this use custom section and now I am going to select pick here and you can see this is taking the shape of this custom here. So this is customized shape which we have taken here and you can also select this move copy instance and reference so if you are familiar with this you can use this and or else you can watch my earlier tutorials about move copy and instance by going to playlist this is sweep parameters mirror on xz plane so it will be mirror on xz plane and mirror on xy plane so it will be mirror on xy plane so likewise you can use this and you can also use align pivot option here so if you select this you can align according to this point here so this shape will be according to this point so suppose if you are drawing any uh, nine points here likewise you can play with here also and that shape will be according to that shape so you can deselect this also and you can play accordingly if you are making any points here otherwise you can use this simple align pivot or else you can leave default your settings so likewise you can draw these shapes using sweep modifier and i will show you so now this is inbuilt section and now i am going to draw some smaller size so that you can understand about so i'm going to select line shape here and now i'm going to draw a smaller shape here so i'm not making it much smaller but if, suppose if you are making any smaller shapes you can use this Close the display and yes. And now I am going to my perspective here. So this is a smaller in size. And again I am going to my uh, select this shape here. And I am going to modify list. And I will select custom section here. Use custom section. 
So I'm going to pick. So this is taking the shape of default one. So I am going to select, can use this to delete your modifier and now I am going to modify list and I will type S and I will look for sweep modifier. So I am going to select this sweep again and I am going to use, use custom section here and now I am going to pick this shape here so you can see this is all like a cornice and you can use to make your ceilings and designs like this using this lathe modifier and dress setting our same so you can play with xy xz plane or you can uncheck this so you can use this align pivot so this will be according to pivot points here so you can select any points and you can align this accordingly so there will be some slight adjustment if you want and you can uncheck this so this was the tutorial for the today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in 3ds max so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye